and I drop in this. When I turn up, you know I'm on my, on my. Yes, I'm on my, I'm on my, on my. Yes, I'm on my, I am so, I'm so. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining me on my YouTube channel. I am here to present to you a series of episodes um, that will be capturing my journey towards the 2019 competition stage. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Joni Lynn Ortiz. I am an IFBB Bikini Pro and I am currently in prep for the 2019 competition stage. I do bikini bodybuilding and I have taken the past year off to reflect on my past training and what I would like to focus on for um, my current training going into the 2019 competition season. I started competing in 2011. My sh first show was July of 2011. I did two back-to-back -back shows, taking first place, and um, the bug kind of just bit me. I, I didn't get into competing with the idea of competing in the long run. Um, I just kind of wanted to see what I can do physically. And like I said, it bit me and I wanted to continue that journey. So I've been competing ever since. I've done fairly well as an MPC competitor. I've always placed top four. I won my pro card in 2014 at NPC Universe. And um, since then, I've just been trying to improve upon my physique, setting realistic goals each season. And um, 2017 was my last um, shows. I did three back-to-back -back shows, October going into November. And well, I brought a package that I was very happy with. However, I didn't place how I wanted to. So. I kind of was disappointed. <laughs> I wasn't kind of, I was disappointed. I was disappointed in my placement. And um, it was, I, I placed in the middle, which is not bad. It's, you know, it's good out of 30, 35 girls. It's, that's not horrible. But as um, a pro going into her third year, um, I should be placing better than that. So, I, I needed to take a lot of time off to reflect, to, see, to even see if I even wanted to continue to compete or just call it quits. And knowing that I have not reached my physical goals, um, I know that I don't want to look back on this in the future and wonder what if or could I or should I have. So I'm stepping back on stage next year. Um, I've never taken more than six months off. Um, so November to November, which we're currently in, November 2018, um, taking a full year off felt great. Um, I started my prep five weeks ago and um, I'm feeling really, really great about it. I've hired a new coach, uh, which was very important to me because I've had multiple coaches from the very beginning until now. And they've, I adore every single one of them. Um, They've not been the most suitable for me in my physique, in my goals. And um, so I, I really took some time to try and find that one coach that I think is going to be the perfect fit for me going into my 2019 season. And as a pro, there, there really is no room for error. There's no room for mishap or, or what have you. So I interviewed a couple coaches. I found one based out of Canada and he's phenomenal. Um, five weeks in, and without even giving him a lot of details about my body, he's caught on um, so quickly. And so, you know, I was telling my husband in the beginning that I'm not quite sure if I, if I can even do this. Um, I started my prep 16 weeks out, and, um, you know, being that my coach James has been able to manipulate my diet, um, it's a lot more suitable. I'm actually pretty far along um, physically, meaning I'm, I'm pretty close to my, my stage goals. And so um, we're just feeding my body, keeping it full, keeping my muscles full because I tend to come in too hard and striated and feeding my body going into a show, it's hard to manipulate that balance from my upper body to my lower body. 
And so I think that he's going to have the perfect um, plan for me to bring in the package that I need to be a top competitor. Um, so this first episode is to kind of share with you what my journey has been like um, and what my goals are going into 2019. So for my goals, um, I need to fix my back pose. I've never had the right back pose for me. I've had lower back issues, I have shoulder issues, and so getting that right balance in that back pose without it being forced is definitely a struggle for me. So I'm trying to fix that back pose, I'm trying to perfect my posing, my stage presence, and just bring in a nice balance of leanness, but a nice soft uh, physique so that I can place hopefully top 10. Um, my goal is top 10. I would hope that by mid 2019, I'm placing top five, but we'll see. Hey everyone, I'm here at Snap Fitness in Tucson, Arizona, and I'm gonna take you through one of my glute workouts. So for those of you that know me, um, know that I pulled my back out earlier this year. Um, I was working out and unfortunately I just overstrained my glute and it pulled my back and I ended up with three bulging discs. So since then I really try to focus on, um, you know, I've always had proper form. I try to be more cognizant of what I'm doing so that my lower back is not drawing in to the glute workouts or lower body workouts. So two of the um, kickbacks that I like to do is where my pelvis is tilted forward and I'm kicking at a slight angle. So it's working my upper glute, my medius and maximus, as I'm flexing the glute. So um, concentrating on that, that squeeze. The other one is where I'm leaning over and as I draw my knee up into my chest and kick back, I'm not drawing my back, my lower back into that workout. So knee in and kicking back. So these are two things, two workouts that I really like to do where it's completely glute focused and my back, my lower back is not being compromised. Set it so you can either do just squats and then go into the table deadlifts. Um, I like to do a combination, it gives me an extra burn, um, and it also brings uh, draws in my hamstrings. So I'm also focusing on my breath, um, building up my hamstrings as well. So with glute bridges, you want to make sure the bench is not too high up. This one's just a tad too high, but I'll make it work. Um, you also want to make sure that you're flexing your glutes as you're coming up. You're not, you're not thrusting your hips up in the air. Pushing through the heels, squeeze, hold. And if you want extra burn, Hold that and then pulse. These two workouts, I also superset. So I'll do a, my feet are wide, toes pointed outward. I'm squatting down into a sumo squat, so my glutes are going back. The second one is a little bit more narrow, and I'm doing a stiff leg where my toes come up, and I'm pushing through my heels. And as I'm pushing through my heels, 
I'm squeezing my glutes and I keep my glutes contracted. I don't come all the way forward. I don't bring my pelvis forward. So I keep the contraction from the downward position all the way up. I hold the flex and I continue to hold until I go back down. I release and then I do it again. I love that one. It works the outer and the upper glutes. So really great burn. fantastic glute workout to hit your lower glutes. Um, for me, I sit all day long and I tend to get like, looks like a flattened part of my lower glute. Um, so this is great for, I guess, plumping that back up again. <laughs> um, so you're pushing through your heel and you're squeezing your glute upon rising and keeping it squeezed upon lowering. Um, I like to do a lot of single leg workouts my pelvis is crooked, so it's like slanted. Um, and in order to get a nice, even glute workout, it's better for me to do single leg workouts. So I try to do that a lot um, so that each glute gets the same amount of attention. Um, but again, just grab a weight ball, put it up against something where you have some stability. And then if you can't do one leg at a time, you can absolutely do both legs. Just make sure that you're pushing equally through both of your heels at the same time. Squeeze in the glutes upon rising, squeeze them as you lower, release, and then repeat.